This is the world's first anti-procrastination cafe. And of course it's in Japan. All of the coolest stuff is in Japan. In this cafe, once you enter, you aren't allowed to leave until all your work is done. You write out all of your goals for the evening and choose one of three difficulty levels. Level one is a verbal confirmation with the staff upon leaving that you completed everything you set out to do. So it's pretty simple and honestly, it seems quite easy to get out of doing the work in this one. You can just lie whenever you're leaving, just lie to the staff like, yeah, I got my work done. That's by design though, this is the easiest difficulty. Level two, which is normal difficulty, sees a staff member check in on you every hour. And finally, level three, the hardest difficulty, has staff members frequently standing directly behind you and applying pressure. That one seems a little excessive, but hey, I mean, if you've got a deadline for tomorrow and you work well under pressure, you gotta do what you gotta do. Customers pay around about 85p or a little over a dollar every 30 minutes. And with that, they get Wi-Fi and charging ports for their laptops. Interestingly though, there are no food products to buy at all. The only beverages are self-served tea and coffee that come at no extra charge, which you might really need because the owner is so committed to you finishing your work that he will keep you there even if it means staying past cafe opening hours. But apparently the people of Tokyo really love this place and it's incredibly effective at helping them achieve their goals. Could this really be the answer to the world's procrastination problem? I'll just have to see for myself. Okay, so maybe I don't have the budget to just go to Japan and go to one of these actual anti-procrastination cafes, but what I'm gonna do is experiment to see how this actually works. I went to my local cafe with an excessively long to-do list, and I was not going to leave until I completed everything. Let's see just how effective these anti-procrastination cafes really are. Okay, so I just got out of there. I actually got everything I wanted to get done, done to a really high quality, much faster than I thought it would. So I got it done faster than I thought it would and to a higher quality than I thought it would. Now at this point, these cafes probably seem amazing and you're probably wishing you had these in your local area, but there is a caveat here. You see, I've tried sitting down for other big work sessions before in other cafes and libraries as I'm sure most of you watching have as well, but I wasn't nearly as productive. With the difference being, every time I've done it before, I was doing work that I just didn't care about. I just didn't naturally enjoy. Whereas this time it was something I was genuinely passionate about, YouTube. People are always looking for a quick fix and a hack for procrastination. And sure, those things can work in the short term, but in the long term, you're always gonna struggle if you don't actually enjoy your work at all. But hey, even the most passionate workers procrastinate sometimes, so, these cafes are perfect if you're just looking for that little bit of extra incentive to meet the deadline. And who knows, maybe one day Tokyo won't be the only city to have their local anti-procrastination cafe.